So I want to introduce a different kind of absorb paper. You can see we have four different techniques. And we call one layer, two layer, three layer, and four layers. So layers is means different techniques. It depends on how many times the paper maker uh, shake the sheet. And first, it's the first layers of paper. You can see it's most transparent. It's very thin paper. And we used to recover the old books uh, in the past. And it is like we use for the stem. And this is also to make the stem on the stone. We write the letters and just do like good blocked paint and you can use watercolor printing painting and it is so paper two layers it's a little bit thicker but it's also almost transparent and most of the artists love to use this paper to paint on it you can see watercolor or you can use on the canvas to paint and this is so paper three layers um, it's a thicker and this is perfect uh, for um, paintings like you can use all kind of medias like acrylics painting or watercolor paintings here you can see um, the Chinese brush painting is also very suit to this uh, three layers. Some of these you acrylic or oil paintings. Uh, even a uh, wood block painting is uh, very common. And uh, you can see calligraphy can work very well on this um, paper. But uh, many artists also like to write on one or two layers. It depends on how you want to. And this is a four layers of paper. It's a thicker thickness. Um, and in the past, we used to print uh, our fork painting. And uh, nowadays, artists use uh, many different kind of medias, watercolor, watercolor, and even this can be printed on laser printers. You can use three layers to print too. So this is um, four kind of thickness absorb paper. One, two, three, and four layers. And uh, yes, you can use the different colors. Uh, it depends on if you use a bleach or not. Well, there's another cry absorb paper we call Zen paper. It's a natural dye with our local fruits called Baka. So it makes this paper brown and it's extremely strong and durable. So in the past we use a lot for book covers and um, we also used to make our albums. This is one of our most precious paper we call rare paper because it's used to make a king certificate in the past and nowadays many artists use for many different purposes like woodblock, calligraphy, embroidery, uh, paintings or even photography. Uh, hẹn gặp lại Thanks các bạn for watching. Um, I hope this is a basic understanding about our paper. See you next time.